Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 12 beta 6 has been on all three of these devices for the past few days and I wanted to share my experience. I've been using it mostly on the iPhone 10, but also the SE and the 7 Plus. I'll be using it on more devices in the future, but this time around I used it on this one. So public beta 5 and developer beta 6 are the same thing. And for me, it's been really smooth. Now on the previous betas, I had a lot of resprings or the screen would reboot or it would look like it would reboot. And every Everything's working well. All the folders are open, 3D touch is nice and smooth, and I've had zero slowdowns with things like the camera, no issues whatsoever, at least for me. Now I ran a poll on the YouTube community page, we'll talk about that in a moment, and a lot of you had different experiences. So on all of these devices, now I can't obviously use them all the same, but everything has seemed pretty smooth occasionally you'll get a little bit of scrolling hiccup on the 7 plus like you might have just seen there but things feel really nice and smooth same thing with the cameras no issues there and again with the camera here no issues there so as far as battery on all of these devices uh, it's been pretty good at least for me on my iPhone 10 it's been better I've been in areas with pretty low signal strength lately and my battery has still done okay so let's take a look we're here, battery health, I'm still at 100%. I'm not doing anything special. I know a lot of you asked me about that. And you'll see in the last 24 hours, I've had one hour and five minutes screen on time and 32 minutes screen off. I haven't used it. I was traveling a lot uh, over the past day, but before that, I'm getting two and a half hours. You'll see it's okay as far as battery usage. Uh, it's fine for me. I'm usually getting about two and a half hours screen on time for some reason. And a lot of it is mail and YouTube and YouTube studio, things like that. DJI go for a drone. And a lot of those things seem to be okay. Now, I, as far as the overall experience, I think it's okay. I've had some weird issues here and there with Siri, but that's really it as far as this device goes. Now on the older device, I'm surprised how fast it feels on this one. Now the iPhone SE feels just about as fast as my iPhone 10 in many of the same apps. So if I wait for this to load, you'll see it loads pretty quickly. If I go to the app store, go to games, it's loading pretty quickly as well. Like I said before the camera, it was a little bit of stutter there, but it's fairly fast on the iPhone seven plus. This is the black version and everything feels good on this one as well. If you want to load a game like Minecraft, it loads pretty quickly wait for it just a moment but for the most part the experience is much better than it was before skip that and play create new you'll see it moves right along and we can use it so we just hit low power on this one we'll wait for it there we go and things move pretty quickly I have no issues with it and I know a lot of you keep asking me how my battery is on these devices so let me show you Go down to battery. The battery health is 93% on my 7 Plus. This is a day one 7 Plus. And let's check the SE. On the SE, you'll see we're at 90%. And this has been used for a couple years. So it's pretty good on both devices as far as that goes. Now let's take a look at what you had to say. Now on this poll, we had 3,000 votes. So thank you to everyone who voted about 24 hours ago or 23 hours ago. And you'll see it says 58% say it's great 7% say terrible and that's down from about 11 to 13 percent before so that's a good sign and then 35 percent said okay but still some bugs now I normally ask you what device you're on and so that really helps us get an idea of what people are using and what people are experiencing across devices let's scroll down here and what I've found is going through all of these uh, a lot of people are saying they're not finding resprings there are a few people that are so here great no more resprings on the iPhone 10 and also so long as I keep voice memos and maps installed I don't have the settings crash bug a lot of people are getting that settings crash bug as well so no more resprings on my end just a couple graphics issues example the GPS indication merging with the time using iPhone 10 let's see a lot of great terrible battery drain faster here's someone with some bugs still freezing sometimes when entering settings also terrible lag when opening folders on 7 plus like I said here I don't really have that let's go back onto the device here we'll go here uh, open a folder. I don't have any lag whatsoever, so I'm not sure what the difference is there. But let's take a look at OK, but still some bugs. Pretty good for the most part, except occasional app freezing, maybe two or three times a day, iPhone 7 Plus. 
when I go to send a text message to my dad at his number and it says it goes to him, he doesn't get it. My mom does. You may want to check your contacts and make sure you have the right number or make sure they didn't switch SIM cards or something like that. And it's hard to say. Battery performance is slightly declined on 8 Plus. iPhone 7 working great. Very, very minimal bugs and nothing major to report of. This is a really good sign compared to what we had with iOS 11. iOS 11 wasn't anywhere near what we had with this, in my opinion, especially in the betas. Battery could improve a bit on 7. It would be great, but I have this weird black screen settings glitch sometimes. Performance on my 6S has been awesome, though. Battery still needs time to evaluate and feels all right so far. That's the other complaint I keep getting is a black screen while people are using it. So that's something to look out for. Terrible. Having a lot of problems when listening to music using Bluetooth. Also, I've found that it takes some time to show the name of an app folder after tapping on the iPhone 10. Also, there's something seriously wrong with the GPS. That sounds more like the previous beta. Uh, hopefully that, that was supposed to be fixed with this beta, but apparently they still have issues, so make sure you report it in the feedback app. When I 3D touch on my spotlight search shortcuts, the device manager respring's or device respring's. That's something they definitely should address. Let's take a look at a couple more here. There's so many comments, and I really appreciate it, but can't get to them all. I noticed that the speed increased, but a lot more bugs than Beta 5. It takes about 5 to 10 seconds before I can start a music track from Apple Music. I've heard that one before, too. It's 8 Plus, still have some crashing in settings in iMessage. Battery seems really good. GPS is off some also. I actually have found, now that you mention it, probably yesterday the GPS was off a little bit. Not a ton, though. Let's take a look. For some reason, the True Tone option has gone, and there's no way to enable it on an iPhone 8. That's a new one. I make sure you report that one. I haven't heard that before. Bugs when I enter settings, the iPhone respring's. Bug when I went to make a phone call, it loses signal. But when I use 3D Touch to enter Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and second settings, it freezes for about 30 seconds. Battery not so great. Let's take a look at a couple more here. Even when I'm not screen recording, it shows people in Snapchat that I am screen recording multiple times. My iPhone 10 is resprung more than it usually does. On iPhone 8 Plus, battery goes down faster, down compared to the previous update. And Facebook doesn't update the notifications after you read it. Not sure if it's iOS or a Facebook problem. So as far as all of these go, it looks like things are getting better. However, make sure if you have a problem, report them in feedback. And then we should see a new update. If they're on the weekly cycle, we might see one on the 13th. If not, we'll see one on the 20th. Let me know your thoughts about it, though, on the comments below. When do you think we'll see the next update? Let us know below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.